Our next project is to be making a clay box. You're going to start out by making your box and then you're going to embellish it with whatever you want, personalize it so it references your favorite song, poem, story, book. You can make something that's tall and thin, short and squat. You can change the shape of the side so that it's not a square. Today I want you to draw your box so that you know how to draw your templates in the next step. Okay, I'm going to draw the front of my box to start with. And the front of my box I'm going to make just a regular square, which is an option. Then I'm going to draw the back of the box, which is going to be another square, and I'm going to offset it so that it's slightly to the right and slightly above the first square. So I've drawn the first square here and the second square is slightly to the right and slightly to above. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the corners. And I'm only going to do these three because I don't see that. When the box is solid, I'm going to erase out these three lines right here. <clears throat> Okay, like so. Then I could put some sort of handle on top. <clears throat> I'm going to do the line where I'm going to cut the lid off from the box. Kind of like this. And then I'm going to take it up the other side. And then I could go, go on, add a foot to my box. Okay, so there's a very simple box that you're going to draw. Now, my box that I'm doing, I'm going to change the shape of it a little bit. So the front, I want the, the box to be shaped like a ladder. So again, I'm using uh, Beyond Apple Picking as my inspiration poem by Robert Frost. And I want to do an old-fashioned apple ladder that they put in the trees. So I'm going to start out by drawing the front of my box sort of like the same shape as one of those ladders. So I'm going to do my box kind of tall and thin, like so. And then, so I've got the front of my box, then I'm going to draw the back of my box, and the back of my box is going to be slightly to the right and slightly above that first one. Okay. Then I'm going to connect those corners like so and so there I have my box that's the shape that I want my final box to be you can do whatever shape or um, you want. You could do a simple one where all six sides of the box are just a square or you can do what I'm doing here where I'm going to make it sort of a, like a pyramid shape. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to put an apple on top for my handle. Okay, because I want so I'm going to put a, a little apple top, and then on the side I'm going to add coils or carve. I haven't decided which one. My little ladder. So I'm going to have a ladder on one side of my box. So and then I might put an apple tree on this side or wrapping around the back of it. might be kind of cool to have an apple tree wrapping around the back of it. Again, I want to be able to see your box because that's how I'm going to help you and guide you to making your templates. And again, I want you to do whatever's at your comfort level. 
So if you want to take on something that's a little bit more complicated, go ahead. Or if you want to keep it simple, keep it simple. Um, but I'm going to help you make your templates so that once, once you make your templates, the box will be really easy to make. The last thing I want to know is I want to know approximately how big you want your box to be. And I don't want you to go terribly big on this. So you're going to grab a ruler and figure out what your measurements are going to be. I want your height measurement and your depth measurement on the bottom. So how big it is from here to here. So let's say I want to make that four inches by four inches. So this bottom piece is going to be a square. And then the side pieces I'll do maybe seven or eight. Well, let's go for, I'm going to go for eight inches. And I'll get an idea of how big that is when I go to make the templates. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a picture of this and I want you to upload it to slide number eight and then I want you to add a text box that gives me a little description of what you want to make and whether you're having trouble drawing it and the dimensions and how you're going to personalize it based on your song. Take a picture of your drawing and put it in slide number eight. Make sure the dimensions are there. You're going to then put a description of how you're going to personalize your box and what help you need.